Welcome back to another video. Now it has been about a minute now, hasn't it? I feel like I've been saying that all year long in every video. Have I? Well, let's talk about that. It's actually New Year's Eve today and I'm out on a ride, the weather was fair and I haven't ridden my mountain bike in so long so I just wanted to get out and get a lap in. And I thought I would update you guys on what's actually been going on and what the plans are for the future because I'm not dead in a ditch, just want to put that out there. <laughs> so this video is for all of you who actually watch my content and follow along on this journey. Uh, I have something in store for you for the next year. So let's start with what's been going on in 2023. So I started this year with a paternity leave that lasted all the way through July from January. And I spent that time just being with my boy, going for long, long, long walks every day so that the kid could sleep. And I lost 17 kilos in that half year. So I feel a lot more healthy now. And that is super great. I'm not done, but it's a good start. So as we progressed into summer, I joined some cross-country races and I learned a few things. I was going to make this into a fun series, but the first race, uh, the camera didn't record most of the race. Uh, so that was a bummer. I was pretty bummed out. Then I did two races that were good. I learned a lot about the bike and my physique. <laughs> the last two races, the first one I had to quit. I, had, uh, I wasn't feeling good. And then the finale, which was here on my home trail, I was still feeling ill and couldn't compete. So that really bummed me out and I was really demotivated by all this, uh, about this struggle. But we're, uh, we're starting fresh in 2024 and this whole year I was like trying to make some time to get out and do the Tour de Skjona videos, uh, but couldn't make the time for it. Uh, and I've been so there's a lot of videos that didn't happen this year and that really bummed me out, but I have been uh, planning for the next year. I have been trying to figure out what I want to do with this channel, uh, what I want it to be, what the content should be, and just trying to figure things out, figuring out a, a, an easy way to film without it being too much of a hassle and all of that stuff. And I think I figured something out and that's what we're going to talk about now. First of all, the Tour de Skjone, that's been picked up again. I, um, we will see how far I get because there are more trails popping up and it's hard to keep up. And the ones I visited two years ago, they're, they have changed so much that I have to go back and redo them, I feel like. Um, so, so that's getting picked up because that was actually the most popular content uh, which people kept coming back for. The Tour de Skjone was like the reason that I started this channel. I wanted to make a comprehensive library on all the trails in Skjone to kind of show what you were able to expect and uh, get people traveling more to different trails and experiencing new things. So that is something that really has to continue and I've figured out how to do it and it's going to be very fun. What do I want this channel to be? Well, I want it to be inspirational. I can't educate you on how to ride because I'm not that good of a rider. And I don't want it to be like a bike review channel. Those do get a lot of views, but that's not me. I couldn't see myself going through the hassle of doing those. What I can do is inspire people. And since I am a photographer, I am trying to make some pretty content uh, and inspirational content. I'm pretty sure it's going to highlight other riders and their stories and I'm pretty sure it's going to be me riding in cool places. That's screws loose. Oh, that's a rider. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> 
So to summarize then, it's been a very slow year. I've been focusing on other things. We're going to do Tour de Skjone. Let's try to finish it. I don't know if I ever will, but we'll try. And inspirational content. But let's not focus on stuff that is not the core of the channel. Let's focus on these two things, the Tour de Skjone and inspirational content. And let's see where this goes. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm going to go home now and celebrate the new year. And I hope you got something out of this video. At least the notion that I'm not dead in a ditch. Uh, and this channel is still alive and kicking. Yeah, anyway, have a super happy new year. And I will see you in the beginning of the next. Bye for now.